hi everyone welcome back to engineers tech up channel so in this video we are going to start java tutorial for beginner so why this tutorial is required because we are planning to start the selenium tutorial so before selenium uh, we have to learn your java programming okay so we will start selenium tutorial okay once we will complete this uh, java tutorial then we will start your selenium tutorial with the real time project right so be, be, without without java you cannot uh, you know uh, learn the selenium properly right if you don't have a proper skill selenium support multiple languages so we will start java with selenium so that is the agenda that's why we have started java tutorial for beginner you can see the topic is java tutorial for beginner right means this this series will java tutorial for beginner if you are a manual tester or if you are from non tech background if you never did programming right so this tutorial will help you to learn the java from the scratch level guys okay so please follow and watch this video till end because when we will upload any new video then this is interrelated to previous topic okay so watch till end if you have any doubt you can comment below and definitely i will reply back to you guys okay so today agenda is like uh, we will explore introduction of java so we will go for bit theory because many of them are very beginner they don't know like what is java also and all okay then that's why we have started from very basics and from zero level we cannot uh, skip anything we can go a uh, step by step you many of them you already learned the java but still you are not confident in the java skill set reason behind that because you are not learning the subject you know as per you know i can say the topic like what is the uh, what the topic you have to learn before and all right but what happen the people will confuse for the java concept so that's why if you will follow me and if you will watch this complete series and you have a confidence in your java skill if you are good in the java if you will go for the automation testing profile in the mostly company 70 percent they are going to focus on your java skill so this is why this topic and this series is this tutorial is important for you guys okay so let's move in the agenda what is the agenda for today so we will have a introduction of java java features then we have a java software what is jdk and jre and different environment in real time project development means where we can use jdk and jre software okay if someone will ask you what is java so simply if you will go in google and if you will search here java okay like if you will search here java one second guys this is coming java concept of the day this is also a good top good uh, website guys so later i'll suggest you what practice on that and will give you the other reference also to improve your coding skill okay so if you will go here you can see you can see java is high level you know class based object oriented programming language that is designed to have a few implementation dependencies as possible so if you will go in the wikipedia so just i'm giving you programming language java is your programming language but we having the many things inside this java right high level okay so in the real time or application development we can develop you know high level features of the java okay then class based so these all the terminology what we have you will not explore now we cannot you cannot understand now but slowly we can understand my main main focus is to uh, you know how to do the practical more practical uh, you know we can focus on the more practical theory part you can read and you can explore just if someone will ask you what is java and all right so object oriented programming language so now i cannot go for one by one topic it will but in the coming session we will explore this just we'll go for a high level okay understood right so who is developed this 
James Gosselin and first person is came in May 23, 1995. Okay, understood, right? So how to create a Java file? So we have a .java extension, then we have a dot class file then we have a dot jar file okay so these are all the thing we will discuss in the coming session if someone will ask you what is java if how to define the java okay so java is a very simple high level secure platform independent object oriented programming language okay i said java is very simple okay so java code we can write in your plane i can say uh you can see i'm just showing you one so what is very simple you can see it's a like a plain english right you can see we are writing as a like a simple you know easy to understand that okay what happened when you will compile this code compiler will give you some instruction what you are doing where you are doing the mistake and all clearly they are giving this okay this is the very simple high level secure so mostly you can go for the web application which is having the security level right it's having the more secure as compared to other language object oriented programming language so again you know any real world object we can implement into the programming world by using this object oriented programming language but still what is object oriented programming language how to implement in the code we can discuss in the coming session so we have a platform independent platform independent means i have developed my code on uh, windows right so what happened this code we can also execute in the different os flavor like linux or mac that is called platform independent okay so it is developed by it is developed by the james goslin in sun microsystem in 1995 the first version is released in 1995 so we have uh, some more features of the java so i have already discussed so we have a simple object oriented programming language secure robust portable and high performance and dynamic okay understood right so these are the very simple uh, introduction of java but yeah our main agenda is to understand the coding part right how to start the java programming so while executing the java what you have to do okay if you want to execute your java in your computer right it will it will not work right for developing the code or writing the code in your system you have to install java software okay so we have a two types of the uh, you know java software is divided into two types first is your jdk that is called java development kit and jre <laughs> java runtime environment then you have to ask the question what is jdk or what is jre so it is a software okay so in the coming session we will also uh, install this jdk then we can uh, after installing this jdk we can configure this jdk with uh, edit plus software then we can execute we can start to write the code then you will get more clarity about that but as of now JDK is a software means Java development kit and we have a JRE that is called Java runtime environment. So let me show you one pick. JDK is a Java development kit. It is a one type of the software. When you will install the JDK, we have a compiler JRE and JVM. So this all these three inbuilt software which is available in the Java development kit. Okay so again you have to ask the question what is the use of uh, compiler jvm and jre okay we will discuss this okay so we will discuss this all the things in the um, coming session but now i will give you some high level of this okay so one second guys uh, let me okay one second okay so here 
how to write the java code so we have a you know we have a dot java class file okay so that is called source code okay so dot java file is called source code so if you want to execute your code then you have to compile the code then you have to execute the code okay if you are a developer right then developer will develop the code then compile the code compiler will convert into the byte code byte code is nothing but this is your machine code and it will interact with java virtual machine so in jdk this all this software is available okay so if you want to develop the new application then you have to require jdk you have to compile the code and you have to execute the code if you want to modify the existing application right if you want to modify your existing application then again you have to compile the code then you have to execute the code so here you have to do the you have to compile the code and you have to execute the code in this scenario you have to require java development kit so what is this how it looks like this how to install this we will discuss in the coming session don't worry about that okay now we have a jre jre we have only jvm here that picture is not available just i can show you like this is your jre okay j r e okay this jre we have only jvm got it right jvm means only runtime it will execute the code only then you have to ask the question where this all the software we will use in the real time so i will tell you okay so when you will go in the software industry okay so we have a some infrastructure once again guys let me clear this okay so let me show you where we can use this all the software in which environment and so you will get more clarity okay so if we will go in the real time we have a some environment environment when i say environment means we have a some infrastructure okay so where our software is installed so this is your development environment this is your testing environment and this is your production environment this is the computer whatever i am using and we are executing the code this is in our physical computer we are doing that but our software is installed in our virtual machine understood right so in this virtual machine you are you know writing the code so this is like a, we have a development page development environment so i'm just writing dev and this is called your testing and this is called your production okay so this is the easy thing guys uh, if you are very new in the java definitely some dot will come i know that but if you want to explore this hdlc software development life cycle so it is a very easy to understand this all but as of now we have a environment or i can say this is your infrastructure where our software is installed where how it will install so we have a java uh, sorry virtual machine so where we have a this development so what happened why this this environment is required right suppose we have a some defect or we have a requirement to add some new features right understood right so this is the one code base and this is the another code base and this is your another code base understood right so here users are using this application like if you are using amazon right you can see tomorrow something is going to change but you can see it will not down right if something they want to change right so they can do development in in development environment understood right so i can say we have a one application where we want to add some features or they having the some enhancement suppose we have a amazon application so let me show you see this is the very basic terminology so that's why i'm trying to spend more time here okay understood right so you can just go in the amazon so you can see now and you can see day after tomorrow some festival is coming they have added some 
you know here discount and all right and they are adding some new product and all here understood right so developer is going to change this code so if without if directly they will do changes here it will impact on the user application means the production environment means users are not able to or something went wrong or some error is coming and all right it will down right if when it will down then what will happen it will impact in our business understood right so when developers is going to change or they are going to add something they will you know develop the code if you have a new feature they have developed the code development they will compile the code and they will execute the code okay so here what software we have to use here you have to require jdk understood right understood right in testing environment so developer has done some changes then they will deploy this code if i say deploy means install this code in testing environment okay then tester job is to execute this tester job is to validate this execution this is the blueprint is like a i can say we are trying to use as a users and we can check we have a, any issue in this application or not after changing this code base okay so here we have a only execution right so only here we have required jre jre means we are not going to touch the code base this is the developer job we are not going to touch the code base this is the developer job understood right we are executing this so now if the tester is sign of the testing part then it will deploy in the production in the production also the users are using the application right so here also we required jre okay hope you guys are able to understand what is jdk and jre now in the coming session we will install this jdk and we will install some editor like a edit plus or we will work on the edit plus if you guys use uh, any other software you can also use but i will prepare we will use edit plus this is uh, one type of the notepad we can type all the code and we can try to implement then later we will also show you how to uh, do the practice on the eclipse and all but as of now we can use edit plus software so now let's uh, see the agenda what we have so you can see we have discussed whatever the agenda introduction of java features of java if someone will ask what is jdk what is jre and different types of the environment where we can use jdk and jre okay guys so that's all in this video guys so next session we will discuss installation part of jdk how to install the jdk software then we will also in install uh, edit plus software we can start to write our code and in we can discuss in the next session so if you are new in the channel guys so please subscribe my channel so my channel name is engineers tech hub if you will go in this engineers tech hub you will get many useful tutorial if you are new or if you want to learn like uh, manual testing or if you want to learn like api testing you will get all the tutorial okay coming days uh we are planning to upload complete java selenium tutorial with real time project okay so please subscribe my channel and go like some useful uh, playlist we have like we have a real time interview question and answer where we have discussed what is uh challenges you have faced in your current project if you are a beginner you can uh, skip this as of now just you can focus on your technical part if you are ready for the interview then you can explore this uh playlist okay so i'll show you this playlist oh this video is played okay you can see what the challenge is what is your roles and responsibility day-to-day -day activity so mainly the people is going to stuck here okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe and press bell icon then you will get new video notification okay so see you in the next video bye bye